Yellow, Ralph McIntyre here with Astro Map Links. Well, I'm here to do another video in the video series Ask an Astrologer. Well, Carrie asks about the descendant and how that plays out in a person's personality. So, the descendant, the seventh house cusp on the birth chart, that is the part of the birth chart that represents how we relate to other people in the chart. Intimate friendships can be the kind of marriage connections. Um, it's more the roommate side of marriage. The seventh house tends to be a little bit more how we get along. The eighth house is more the deep intimate connection of um, relationships. So, one this this seems like a really simple question, and it is somewhat of a simple question, but it's very complex in a bunch of different ways. And I want to step back because a lot of people look at the birth chart and think, oh, this explains the person. And there's some truth to that, but that's not really the case. And I'll give you a prime example. So you can look at a birth chart. And, you know, some astrologers may claim they can do this, but I don't, I don't really buy it. And, and it kind of gives you a hint, but not for sure 100%. So the birth chart's not going to show you if the person's an introvert or an extrovert. And so if the person's an introvert, I'm going to look at the seventh house or the descendant in one way. And if it's an extrovert, I'm going to look at the seventh house and then descendant in another way and so it's important to remember you're not reading the chart you're helping the person understand the energy in the chart as it relates to them and every person has the, their own free will you know if you're an introvert and you have a leo seventh house cusp you know you're not going to necessarily be standing up and doing videos in front of thousands of people you know you might need to sit down and have an intimate conversation with one person and yet be really seen because leo the sign leo wants to be seen truly seen you know and if you're an extrovert you know you might need to get up and dance on the table or you know dance around the bar or have a bunch of people see you and so first of all you kind of look at the person and what they're about and then once you start looking at the chart, there's a couple things you're going to want to look at. So first of all, the sign that is on the cusp of the seventh house or on the descendant. So whatever sign it is, so you want to look at that. And like I said, Leo. So if let's say it's a Leo seventh house, then you'd go to the rulership of the sign. And Every sign has a planet that's naturally affiliated with it. So in the case of Leo, it would be the sun. So you would look at the sun and where the sun is in the chart. And so you want to look at the rulership and the, or the, the sign that's on the cusp and the ruler, ruling planet where it is in any aspects to help you kind of understand what this person's the energy that they're working around and the lessons because you remember the the birth chart shows your soul's lessons what you're learning in this life to get on your you know so to speak walk on your path on your evolutionary path so wherever you have planets is where you have lessons so wherever your sun is wherever your solar energy that main driving energy if you were leo that's relating to the relationships or how you relate to one-on-one -on -one relationships, the lessons you need to learn or the things you're working on as far as it relates to other people. And then the other thing you want to do is you want to look at any planets that are in the seventh house. So you look at the, the, the sign that's on the cusp and any planets that are in the seventh house because they give you a deeper understanding of what kind of lessons this person's working on in the, um, it, as it relates to other people. So 
And then the other thing you can kind of do too is you can kind of look to where Venus is because Venus naturally rules the seventh house. And you can also look to the, where the sign Libra is because Libra naturally rules the seventh house. And that'll help you get a deeper understanding of what's going on. Um, you can also look to the eighth house and the fifth house. Um, you know, the fifth house is kind of creativity, love affairs, connections, all that kind of stuff. And the eighth house is that deep uh, interpersonal connection. You know, and, and in general, I would look to the sun. You know, even if it's not a Leo um, a descendant, you want to look to the sun because the sun's such a powerful uh, aspect in a person's chart. You know, someone with a Scorpio sun versus a Leo sun versus a, you know, a Libra sun or a Sag or Cap, all of that's going to have a big effect on how you filter all the information in. But remember, <clears throat> the birth chart is the raw ingredients and the person's free choice, the, the karma, you know, it's like if someone has a bunch of karma, a lot, a lot of trauma, you know, and it, depending on where they're at in their life, too, you know, it's like if you were to look at me, you know, when I was a young person, not that I'm not old now, I guess I am kind of old, but younger, let's say younger. If you were to look at me younger, I related with people way different than I do now, you know, and my, my descendant sign didn't change. The planets in the seventh house didn't change, but my level of healing and all that changes. So the simple answer is yes, the descendant has a big effect on a person's personality. Um, the more complex question or answer to your question is you kind of have to look very deep into the person and all the different planets and the aspects, their maturity, whether they're introvert or extrovert. Um, what I like to do is I like to use the chart to kind of formulate questions. And then when I formulate the question, depending on the person's response, helps me understand how they're manifesting that energy. You know, because it's like you could take a hundred different Leo descendants and they will all be very different in the way they relate to other people. You know, and, and then early heart, childhood trauma, you know, uh, whether it's... Uh, male or female, you know, whether it's a confident or non-confident person, what, you know, all these things, all of that affects, you know, um, you know, if the person's agoraphobic, they're going to be way different than an extrovert, you know, or, or even an introvert. All of that has a different effect on how you're going to relate that seventh house energy. All right, I hope that answers your question. Thank you so much. Um, so the way to answer, ask questions, you can either email me or send me a message through um, YouTube, and I will try to do a video and answer your question. All right, once again, thank you so much for watching this movie, or excuse me, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, I would recommend clicking like and subscribe. All right, have a spectacular day.